and the ultrasound contrast now let us talk about a very very important contrast agent which is iodinated water soluble contrast agents iodinated water soluble contrast agent remember very very simple rule and that rule is that any investigation any investigation which uses x rays any investigation which uses x rays if they have to use a contrast agent it will be iodinated water soluble contrast agent any investigation if it has to use x rays it will use iodinated water soluble contrast agent which can be divided into two groups ionic and non ionic ionic and non ionic now what is the meaning of ionic ionic means ion that means if it will go into the water it will break down into a cation and an ion if it will go into the water it will break down into cation and an ion that means if somebody ask me that how many particles per molecule are given by an ionic compound i will say it is so simple every ionic molecule will give one cation and one anion so that means two particles every ionic compound will give two particles if somebody ask me how many particles are given by a non ionic compound so i will say non ionic compound does not break down into cation and anion and that is why it will give me only one particle and that is why it will give me only one particle so an ionic compound will give me two particle and non ionic compound will give me only one particle per molecule 